So as you know, every Tuesday, I told you I'll be popping up on an entrepreneur. It's final entrepreneur time, and today, let's go! Today we are popping up on my sister Francesca. Shout out to Mixamina. If you've been to any of my events, you know she's amazing, so she's definitely recommended. So I'm about to pop up on her. cinnamon it's like a cinnamon pie apple pie but like it's like a pumpkin spicy like a something spice mm -hmm. with the cinnamon in it mm -hmm. it's really good it's really amazing i don't usually like the spice and like bold mm -hmm. style drinks but this is perfect for sure so this is the bumpy so when you create your names how do you create them where do they come from prison <laughs> i mean they come from prison like that came about because it was like, all right, so when you, for, I don't know, for those who've been in prison or didn't go to prison, I don't know, but when you come into prison and you like a new girl or whatever, they ask, well, no one, what you here for? Because they're trying to figure out if you were snitch. Right. And then once they figure out where you from, then all the people from that area come together and give you something. Because you're not going to get compensated for like two, two, three weeks, maybe four. So... When I came up with that, I was thinking, what would I give my bunkie? Oh my bunkie! Yeah. 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 That one's bunkie. And I have three others. Okay, what are um, the other ones? Goon Squad. Goon Squad. Gang. Hooch. 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 That's my nickname. Hooch. 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 It's period. It's sweet, Who? but it's one of them. One of them okay, so before we even get into the rest of these, I need some way for us to sit so I can actually figure out how to mix the meaning even begin. We need to get into that, how they can find <laughs> you. <laughs> where can we go sit? But tell me where I can go sit. Let me let me take my drink. <laughs> oh, we got a nice little setup in her house. Okay. Yes, I'm. I mean. Check you out. Even though I'm a bartender, I'm a homebody. Mm -hmm. So my house gotta be comfortable. And I'm gonna live in a doll house. So. It's an <laughs> Eiffel Tower in the back. Yes. I'm here for it. So um, I feel like I've now been forming my relationship with you for about a year now. Over a year. Almost Over two year, years yeah. approaching. Yes, when I. It'll be next year. Yeah, it'll be next year when I. I did you. That's exactly. What I did. It was for the first retreat. And when you reached out to me, you're like, hey, I have a, a company. We serve liquor. I want to be involved with women by women retreat. And from there, I feel like I've been able to continue to see the hustle and the grind. But we don't know the story. Like, how did it start? What got you started? How did you even get so good? I need to know, like, the beginning. At the time, it is. Like I said, like, that's money. So we're not going to get into all of that. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but, I don't know. but, um... When I was in there, I was like, I need a legal hustle. Even though I was a hairstylist um, before, prior to going to prison, the money wasn't as fast to me as the streets was bringing it to me. Yeah. When I was at the hair salon, everybody was like, oh, what you bartending to? I'm like, no. 
well, you got a personality of a bartender. I'm like, well, what the what hell is, is that? that? Yeah, what is that? What's that? Like, I'm talking to you at the shampoo bowl like I would talk to anybody else or whatever. My sister-in-law, she's an event planner. She um, had a block party. Mm -hmm. This big-ass block party. And her bright idea was to give away the, the shooter bottles yeah. for free. So gave away all these shooter bottles for free. Did she make them? Who made the drink? Who made them? Nobody made them. She went and bought like book size okay. uh, bottles or whatever. Gave them all for free. They ran out. So all she had on the table was like bottles that everybody was bringing. Mm -hmm. And she had asked me and like three other girls to bar me for her. They wasn't really mixing up nothing. So for it to be a free bar, I walked off with $200 that day. Okay. And I was like, you This know is what? close to, you know. Right. So okay. I like, okay. okay. I was like, what they say? Got a person on this bar. We about to put this to work. Yeah. For real. And then I got popped. <laughs> Then you went down. Then I went down. Okay. Okay. So now we out. We out and thriving. We out and thriving. But Mixed Demeanor came about the entire time that I was like. So while uh, you was in there, you started thinking. You still want to have like, damn, okay, I made that legal money that way. Mm -hmm. So now let me start getting this together. So let me start getting this together. So i um, sitting on my top bunk one day. And I was like, all right, I'm bored. So I bought a book off commissary. Bought a book off commissary. Get the book and I started. We had to like get like magazines and stuff off top of the trash cans or whatever. When somebody was finished their they subscription, they put it on a top trash can, you get it, and then you do whatever you want with it. And when you're done, you put it back or right. whatever, and let somebody else get it. So I would take the magazines and I would rip out pictures of liquor bottles. Mm -hmm. And I would cut them out and I would put them on top of my book, inside my book, whatever. And then I would sit up there and I would literally think of flavors that actually would taste well together. Okay, okay. So, but you had to vision it. That's why right. pictures. Okay. So honestly, a lot of my cocktails are made, but I don't know what it tastes like until I actually make it. Mm -hmm. All right, now I need to catch a name for my company. I about to say the name. I'm a felon, like it just. But <laughs> but I couldn't really figure out nothing cute yeah. to play off a of felon. So at the beginning, it was mixed demeanor, the art of blending. Um, the art of making a perfectly long mixed drink, some, 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 some bullshit. And I was like, fuck that. We're going to chop that and we're going to be mixed in So I was like, all right, this is mixed in My logo came from when I was locked up, mm -hmm. too. I was like, all right, so. Wow, so you really formed it while you was in there, logo and everything. Logo and everything. Keep going. Get so, lit. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, so I started drawing out what I wanted, right? And I was like, I want a martini glaze and I want some handcuffs on it. So I did the first draft of it. Mm -hmm. Then I went to my homegirl who stayed down. And I was like, you know how to draw, right? Because that's how she made her conversation. Mm -hmm. she I was like, listen, I need you to do this logo for me. You want to do this logo for me? She was like, yeah. I was like, I'm serious. Like, Because when I get out of here, I'm using this logo. So I got to be right. Mm -hmm. She was like, okay. So I told her what I wanted. I was like, I want the martini glaze. I don't want the handcuffs wrapped around the martini glaze. And she was like, all right. So she made it. Mind you, she never really took me mm -hmm. seriously or whatever, but my other, my other Bunky did, and she I love like, that Bunky too. Yeah, bunky. she was like, all right, two other girls that I would run to. One of them was like my big sister to this day. We um, stay in contact with her with Sunny. I used to run to Sunny. I'd be like, so what you think about this mm -hmm. Sunny? Like, da 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 da. Cause she was in the process you of tell writing. Tell me about her. Before. Yeah, she was, the, sunny. she was in the process of writing her book. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, all right, so if I'm going to read your book, I'm going to need you to do this. And yeah. like, so we was going back and forth. And she was like, oh, get out of here. This is what you got to do. Look me up. Because she got out in January. I didn't come out until March. And I, I was like, she's not going to remember me. I came out and she saw that I was on social media. She was like, what's up, sis? And I was like, yeah. Hey. <laughs> the first year, you hustling. You doing the pouches. I'm doing the pouches. Yes. Yeah. I'm trying to solidify my name. So I'm marketing mixed them, you know, on everything. So I got like a thousand of my emails. If I want to buy it, still my name. So I got mixed them in the gmail, dot net, dot com, dot org. Everywhere I can get it. <laughs> Everywhere I can get it. I didn't want to buy it, still my, my name. So this is like, all right. So the first year, I was like, all right. So I got this. And then um, second year, I saw your post. It was like, look at the vendors. And I was yeah. like, the power of social media, y'all. I was like, Fuck this. let me write this girl. I don't know you from a kid. Yeah. <laughs> like, let me write her. And I wrote you. And you say yes. And I was like, it's I was living time. in New York. I was on the bus. I mean, I was waiting for the train. And living when you wrote, I was reading it. And I'm planning the retreat here in Baltimore the whole time on my way to TMZ in New York. <laughs> like, 
the hustle be real, but we were aligned. Yes, I was like, all right, it's showtime. Like, and at the same time, I was buying stuff for my business. Like, I have glorifiers. I had three foot bottles. I had a whole bunch of stuff, and I was just like, all right, she want a brunch bar. I'm gonna give one. <laughs> you did. <laughs> So now let's go into that because you can be, I know a lot of people do like mobile liquor companies, but they aren't as creative. So whenever we have a retreat, I'll tell you what theme of it is and you will come and have a whole setup like down to the T of how you create your drinks, how you decorate your table, everything. So I gotta credit that to um, Tiana because... Who's Tiana? Tiana's my best friend, but she's also an event planner. I'm okay, so that's how y'all connected. That's how, okay. Right, okay. I, I've been an assistant for her on so many different events. I was like, I always want to stay a step further than the next person. Mm -hmm. So now, as you can see, everybody in my son drinks something. Mm -hmm. I did that two, three yep. years ago. Yeah. So now I'm like, all right, these parties are getting bigger and bigger. First, it was like, all right, it's no longer sheet cake and huggies. Mm -hmm. It's like, let's get a cherry cake. So, the same way you plan, a person plans for an event is the same way I plan for my bar. So, it's like, I was like, okay. It's an That's an experience. Yeah, it's experience an experience. Experience is important. It's all experience. Okay, so I do, like, I tell people I do bar decor. And it's like, what, what is bar decor? So, now, but now here we are, people getting champagne walls, yeah. donut walls, and all this other stuff. And I'm like... All right, so I'm going in the right path, and that's that's how I do it. Like I'm making an experience because if you do hire somebody after me, I just know I'm not gonna be forgotten. You're not gonna get that experience, and that's you're your uniqueness. What's off limits? What type of events you like to do for Mix and Mina? If you contact me and book me, I'm pretty much for just about any and everything. Okay, but just know a deposit is required. The one thing that I'm finding out in this business is people automatically think that bartenders make this tremendous amount of money mm -hmm. from tips. That's not the case. So it's like when I present people with my booking yeah. fee, they're like, well, does that include liquor? No, my booking fee will probably get you a bottle of Patron, a bottle of Hennessy, and a bottle of Grand Marie. What you want to do with that for 150 people? Like, no. No. That's just to pay me in, in case yeah. I don't get tipped out. Then I still make my I still money, make somebody money as if being I went here. to work. Right. So if I'm being here. Um, so nothing is really off limits to me. Um, because I like everything. I like to experience different events. But what I most like to do is like private events, brunches, open houses, um, like intimate stuff. Because yeah. when it's intimate, I can get more creative yeah. than working with. A whole lot of people because yeah. me by myself I can only do probably about a party size of maybe 50 to 100 people. I was about to say because you de yeah. at the retreats we have about a hundred people <laughs> yeah. and you sh you could definitely do about a hundred. You, you come with your team you mm -hmm. and it's not many okay it's maybe many. two or three yeah. <laughs> this is like two or and three she set everything up. Yeah. Table presentation, drink presentation, she's giving you options like you're creating yes. the experience, so definitely a hundred plus you can do. Well, if they want to book you, tell them how they can book you, where they can find you, how can they can get mixed amina in the process. Okay, if you want to book me, you can book me via Instagram at mixed amina, M I X D E M E A N O R L L C. Just DM me, and I will respond. She will respond. Or you can um. You can call me, 443-224-0162. But leave a message. I was about to say, and don't be all creepy yes. calling her for the guys. Yes, I know message. she's cute. Okay. Leave a message, and then I'll reply back that way. Okay. Um, you book me, we'll sit down, we'll have a consultation, what you're looking for, what your um, intentions are for your party, and how many you're trying to get. Yes, because um, I need to know. How drunk you trying to get on because I, I pour heavy. <laughs> I pour heavy, so I need to know what level of drunkness you trying to get them on. But if you want to drink, same way. 
hit me up. But now that I'm busy because I work, I work multiple bars at this point, yep. and I False. still and I still, <laughs> and I still do private events. So if you want drinks and stuff, I no longer sell them by one. I sell them in like lots of fifteen False. or more. So okay. So definitely make sure y'all follow her. I'm so excited and happy for you. You the bomb. Obviously the bomb because that's why I'm here. And look forward to see who I'm going to have pop up next Tuesday. Okay. I'm Francesca and I am the founder of Mixed Demeanor. And I'm an entrepreneur her. Okay, her. Okay. And I'm Raven Paris and I am feeling great. <laughs> Mixed Demeanor, okay? Yeah, I'm about to feel great.